Hello and welcome to Solution Cone. From this video onwards, we would be starting our front-end development for the mini project. In our last video, we have completed the back-end development of the mini project where a user can add or view or edit or delete an article as and when required, which has an admin privilege. So today we will start with uh, making the front end a simple front end basically to understand the functionality of how exactly uh, dynamic articles can be viewed and we will see if we update certain articles it will automatically update the front end as well so let's start our video so i'm just closing this login screen for now i need to find some uh, user interface for our project so let's uh, check it bootstrap 4 let's check for examples if we have any ready template for the same okay so here are the list of uh, templates ready templates we can use for our project we just need to show uh, basically uh, image small description and as, uh, we can use uh, image title and on click of that we can show a blog description so we will require two pages let's check this one yeah i think so this is good to show multiple blogs we add from our backend and it will be visible here and here would be our image which would be placed here and here would be the title of the article and here would be a view button we don't require edit button for the user and uh, time also we don't require for now we'll keep it simple just to understand the concept or else we can here use the posted time maybe let's check uh, first of all i require this we will be using the same uh, layout so let's see how you can use the same layout on this project and you can see that it's a bootstrap 4 theme so it's important that we are using bootstrap 4 also so let's check for bootstrap 4 Let's go on the official website and here they have a starter template. We will just copy the starter template. We'll go on our project. We'll close all the files and let's create the front end view of it. So first of all, we need to create a controller. So let's give a controller a name called as a maybe home.php and uh, also i will be requiring a view so i'm just copying and pasting here let's go to the home layer home controller i just copy it i'll paste it here i will give the name as uh, maybe blog home page a list page maybe um, whatever you think you can give the name that's not a big problem here we need to save it and this will go inside the view folder and either you can make a folder for front end or you can directly put it here i'm just putting it here right now so here is our blog list page embedded here and let's check if this uh, if the bootstrap has been successfully embedded on that web page or not so you can see that the bootstrap is successfully added to this page and there should not be any errors in the console and it's good to go so let's now use this theme so for using this theme what you can do is inside the body you can use a complete body ok 
still here and maybe what you can do is till the footer you can check just try to copy and paste it here inside the body tag and let's try to reload it so yes it started to look nice okay and uh, everything is proper and functional right now here is the back to top it's also working fine and the images are not yet visible because images are not included right now so i think so that's it mm, and there should not be any sort of errors let's check for errors also okay so there is no errors so this is the front end thing and instead of this broken image let's check for image we required an image here which would be a jpg or png image so either we can create one image of it you can just crop it here and save it there would be a mini project inside that assets you can just dummy image dot jp Oh, okay, so it was a PNG image, I guess. Let's check it here. Inside the asset, you will find a JPG or PNG image. So, here instead of this, we can write SRC equals to base URL. assets slash dummy hyphen image dot jpg let me check And you can see that it's working fine. Similar to that, uh, we can remove this data SRC for now. And we can keep it simple. We don't require edit button, comment, or we can remove it. And we will not put this also for now. rest of the things we will remove it so it will show only one article for now that's it as well as if you want more you can just copy and paste it like that it will appear like this so we have successfully uh, included this theme on our front end so here album example instead of that fast 
here also they are given certain things so we will not change and will not go in the exact designing of this basically and more majorly we will be focusing on our functionality this is something which we have created let's put some dummy text there so by the way I am using this as a dummy text everywhere I want to include certain things I use this dummy text Um, this is it. We don't require any of the buttons for now, so we will remove it. Okay, so this looks uh, much better. And uh, the, uh, one thing what we can do is we can include three articles. So he this is this is nothing but the count of the articles total count of the articles displayed below so total four articles four articles that's it this counting will do and this thing will create a dynamic we'll move ahead with this uh, functionality on in our next uh, video so for now thanks you for watching I hope you like, subscribe and comment below if you have any doubt.